Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across a screen, bright topaz denizens, of a world of green. They do not fear from the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek chivalric certainty. The poet, Adrian Rich, says, Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance, that is, jump across a screen, means, they are not real tigers. Aunt Jennifer is making the tigers, on a panel. Bright topaz denizens, of a world of green. Denizen means, inhabitant or dweller. Topaz, is a precious stone of yellow color. And these tigers are yellow like a topaz. And these tigers are bright, yellow like a topaz, and are denizens of a world of green. They live in the green world, in the jungle. They don't fear, from the men under the tree. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. Sleek means graceful, and chivalric means, brave. Means, they run in graceful, and brave confidence. Why aren't the tigers afraid of the men beneath the tree? Because, they're tigers. Angry tigers. And they're not real. Auntie has made them, so they can be, what they can be. Aunt Jennifer's fingers, fluttering through her wool, find even the ivory needle, hard to pull. The massive weight of Uncle's wedding band, sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Auntie's fingers are fluttering, moving through her wool. She finds the ivory needle, hard to pull. Means, she is weaving her tigers on a panel, by stitching wool, with ivory needles. Why were her fingers fluttering? Because, she is old. The massive weight of uncles, that is, her husband's wedding band, sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Here, the wedding band symbolizes her unpleasant married life. This wedding band, her hard experiences in her married life, sits heavily upon her hands. Means, she is not able to bear the burden. But though it's being hard for her, she makes ferocious tigers, that are not afraid of men. They symbolize strength, and confidence. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie, still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made, will go on prancing, proud, and unafraid. When auntie will die, her terrified, frightened hands will still lie ringed with the ordeals she was controlled by. Ordeals mean, hard experiences. Even after her death, the signs of the ordeals will still be visible on her old, afraid hands. On the other hand, the tigers she made on the panel will still be jumping ahead, confident, and not afraid of men. Auntie will die. But her tigers will still be jumping on. See the irony? The tigers, symbolizing strength, will be jumping. But the one who made them is old, weak, and frightened. Through this poem, the poet, Adrian Rich, exposes the restrictions of married life, of a woman.